Hello and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've got loads of ingredients, and today we're making a carrot orange cake. I'm surprised I haven't done this already, but I'm going to read out what you need. I've already preheated the oven. There's also another thing I've already done. Okay, I've greased my tin. Now I was going to do circle ones. They're meant to be circle, but my circles are exactly the same size. So we're doing square one. You need to have hangover, so then you can just lift your cake out. If you don't have hangover, you can't get your cake out. So I did that to speed the video up a bit. But with all this time off, you probably, you probably want longer videos rather than shorter videos but anyway. So you, so you put a bit on the bit of butter and you grease your tins. The oven is 160 degrees, gas mark 4. So what you need for this carrot orange cake, 250 grams of butter, 200 grams of caster sugar, three large eggs, 200 grams of self-raising flour, one tablespoon of bicarbonate of soda, which I don't have. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Zest of an orange, mixed spice, I'm using ginger ground, um, I'm using um, ground nutmeg. I actually don't know if I need any of this brown sugar stuff. I am also might be making some gingerbread men biscuits as well, but I might not. I might do some savoury stuff. Come film in two videos. Um, Cause I've got more time off. Why not? Uh, 100 grams of carrot grated. This is like one or two carrots, and then you need some. I need another orange for the zest. I only have a little satsuma, so I don't know if it's actually going to work. So the third thing you need to do is preheat your oven and grease your thin tin, which we've done. Please give it a like and subscribe before we start. I don't know if my cake's going to work because no bicarbonate of soda. So I should probably go and get some, but... With everything selling out, I don't know if I'm going to have any. Um... Beat the butter... Oh, you also... Yeah, beat the butter and sugar together. So we need 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of flour. in one of these things. I should say 500 I need half of one of these. Right, I have to go and get another one because that is empty. We have plenty of butter in stock, we've got like five of them. We have stocked up on butter, don't you worry. I don't normally preheat them right at the beginning, but I did today. I feel like I've got more time to work out. I feel like I can afford a cake. That's what I'm thinking. More time to work out. I can I can make a big cake. I think before I used to have like no time to go for a run and work out. I used to run like once a week. Never have time to work out. And I was like thinking I can't afford to bake cakes when I've been off. I did a workout yesterday and I'm also doing a YouTube live workout today. Yesterday I did an Instagram live workout which was 20 minutes. I'm doing another 20 minute live workout but it's on YouTube rather than Instagram. But I might post it onto Instagram anyway. Um, but it's going to be live on YouTube rather than Instagram like I did yesterday. And I'm going for a two hour run. So I can fold also. What's going in here? 200. I 
to make sure I have time. Because I've got to do, um, after this I've got to clean up. And obviously I've got to try it. And I'm not going to be able to... Actually I'm going to pour it into the bigger one, I'm not going to get any more. I might wait about in this little bowl. Um, also, I can't run straight after. So essentially, I don't know if you can make a carrot cake without that carbon. So I did try and find the recipe without, but I can't find one, which probably indicates you can't do it. But together means you've got to like if it didn't it mix so that's technically mixed now but it's not creamed so to cream it you've got to beat it for like an extra like minute or two oh yeah and wash your hands constantly I do sing happy birthday. I think you meant to sing it twice, but I sing it once. But I do sing it. I need a cooling rack for this. I don't know where our cooling rack is. But I'll have to find it whilst it's cooking. I don't actually need brown sugar, do I? I think that, I don't know why. I'm, maybe the back half of the that make it dark. I don't know, but. So we're now going to wash my hands and I've got sugar in the frozen. So technically you've got round tins to use them. We're making, for this we're doing a buttercream filling. So we're doing like orange buttercream for the middle and then we're doing buttercream for the middle and icing for the top. Now I know there's four, I don't know if you can see, there is four eggs in here. I'll just put these on this one. And we're gonna just stir. I should probably have a wooden spoon right now. I've got lemon juice. I have got So I'm going to put that spare egg, well actually it won't fit in the other box, but, actually it won't fit in the other box, but, you can just go in the fridge or something. And i just place it on top, because we have to keep the egg. So also, so we've now got butter, sugar, three eggs, and this carrot weighs 96 grams, so that'll do, we need 100. So what I'm going to have to do is I need to peel it. I'm quickly just going to peel this into the bin. I'm going to then cut the top and tail off. Oh, that bin reeks. I don't know what went in that bin, but that reeks in. Absolutely diabolical. Um, cut the top and tail off. Should really have a board, but I don't see the point for one carrot. 
and then we need to put the egg container in the bin. We then need to grate. I don't know why my voice went like that. We need. Oh, this tin cupboard's looking pretty empty. Oh, one thing I love eating at the minute. Oh, I always love eating spaghetti hoops. That is something. Yeah, carrot cake is usually dark. That's why I thought I needed brown sugar. I think I have a little cabinet of soda that I don't have. You only need literally a teaspoon of it. to get to the end of this carrot. Maybe I should have left the top bit on so I can hold on to it. I'm not going to go any further because I don't want to chop my fingers off. See, I'm going to get a wooden spoon to mix this together. Just because I feel like you need to mix with a wooden spoon. Um, I'm also going to get an orange. Well, the oranges that I have uh, little like satsuma thingies. I don't know whether this is going to be any good. But that's actually going to work on it. Might, you might not actually taste the orange. But we are going to put quite a bit because we're going to like juice and stuff for the icing. So I'll just put that to the side. We have buttercream filling. So we're doing like buttercream filling and then icing on the top. And it's a shame I don't have two round circles that are the same. I just assumed we would have. It definitely made my cabinet so that makes it dark, I think. I don't know, but. Actually, the nutmeg, mixed spice will make it dark. So we want nutmeg, which is technically mixed spice. One. Tesco's and it's not even open. I think we had another one actually. It might have been. How much of this stuff do we need? One tablespoon. So I'll use this. I put a tiny bit extra on because it's stuck. Because it adds a bit of like butter and And like I said, I don't like cooking with a laptop on here, especially when you've got carrot on the side. Oh god. But when your printer's not working, you don't really have much choice. I'm going to quickly wipe this because I'm cross that my laptop is dirty. I was going to do my Instagram live, my YouTube live this morning, but I didn't work out. I the, work, the Instagram live yesterday was at 9 o'clock, 9 to half 9, and I was going to do it this morning at 11. I thought I only did it last night. My body's probably not recharged yet, even though I've slept for like 10 hours. My body's not probably fully recharged. I'll give my body a bit more time during the evening. It was only not been 11 minutes, so now we need to sift. We'll weigh the flour out and then just sieve it in there. The cabinet is over, hopefully, we don't need. Um, so we're going to sieve all this into here a bit at a time, I think. I'm just going to. You have to sieve it or it will be lumpy. I did put a tad much in. I had like 260 or something, so I'm just gonna leave that. But I did have two. And we're gonna fold in the flour. So when you're folding, you're folding, turning it over. Good job I turned to this bigger bowl. It's 
very cake-like. And now we put it in the tin, don't you believe? Oh, it's very um, strong. Let me just try a tiny bit. We might spoon in the mixture, I'm not deciding what we're doing. Moving these scales out of the way, we don't need them now. I'm surprised we don't have any carrot in the icing or frosting, but I'm all about carrot like in the cake. So to make these even, even if you're doing circle one, whatever you put in one, you put in the other. And then you need a spatula spoon out to put two spoons in there. Two spoons in there, one spoon in there, one spoon in there, you if it works and I'll be able to tell you if it works out by cabinet or soda if you don't have it you can still do it but if it doesn't work then obviously you will have to get some that's going in the thing soda helps the cake to rise but because we've got self raising flour it should still work if they come out flat then they shouldn't do but if they do we know why so now they're going to go in the oven for 20 minutes And I will let you know if it needs more or less or whatnot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move the tray that I've got, the bottom shelf, like this sort of tray thing. <laughs> you preheat. Sometimes I just put these in like straight away, but because you preheat the oven, you've got to get gloves and put them in properly. And then whilst it's cooking, we can make the buttercream and stuff like that. Once we give ourselves a tinsy wincy bit of tidying up. I'm probably just going to chuck them in the brush, right? Probably going to brush. So we don't need eggs, we don't need that one. Everything you don't need, you put back. But when you taste the fat, it doesn't all fit back in. Well, you can't do the icing straight away. Because it will go hard. So the only thing we can actually scream it right now is the buttercream. So I'm going to get some... Yeah, I thought it was only 2.30, but for a minute I thought it might have been 3 and I'm like, better not be, because I'm for a run up at 4 o'clock, then I've got to do a live stream before then. So. I'm 
Oh, I need the bus to back out. Put the bus away. recipe it's all gone bloody patient it's not the um knowing how to do it it's the quantities how much to what you need it might found it So it is that's quite a lot, so you need double the amount. We're gonna put we're gonna do a hundred I think it might be two hundred butter, four hundred at all and it says you need double the amount of icing sugar to butter, so I don't know if I've got a load of icing sugar because we need to make icing for the top as well. Lemon, can you put lemon and carrot cake? Does lemon go with carrot? Because I've got lemon zest, I can lemon. Lemon carrot cake, should have done that from the beginning, but didn't really think. It says, well, except all. To make, oh, I just want, not all this, oh, it's got all the way back to the top now, I've accepted the um, cookie. Should have done with something. This takes longer to make. It's a good job we did the one we did. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do. We're gonna do a lemon buttercream because the oranges are a bit too small. Because as you saw, the orange for the actual cake didn't really work. The orange was that small. We should have got bigger oranges. So these top oranges don't work. So we're gonna do lemon instead. Google said lemon works fine with carrot, so. So, we need 400 grams of this. Don't know how much is in the whole thing, but. It's about to be 200. Shit. Shit. We're doing 200. And I'm getting rid of this laptop like now. Laptop's getting rid of them now. This is why I don't cook my laptop. I'll give that a wipe at the end. And we need 100 grams of butter. Oh, I did get a timer for them. I say, I say three o'clock is now 12 minutes to. I don't know. We'll say roughly three o'clock, I'll give them a check. I'm going to put this buttercream in the fridge. 
What am I doing in my life? I just put way too much butter in. To think, I thought I was going up to 200. And I'm not. And I'm going to zest. Probably can't even taste the orange in the cake, the amount of the weed. And I'm now I'm going to cream them together. Away from me because this item's gonna go over, can't afford this to go over me as well because the jumper that I'm wearing clean as of yesterday. I did work out with it yesterday. Actually, no, I think I took it off. There's not a lot of things you can do in a hand mix anyway because they stick together. They're lying down like the, the dust of the item shop will go everywhere. Water in this, but we don't. I think it's just if, you, if, if it doesn't work, then you scale through the wrong or you might weigh it out properly. It should work. I'm just going to give it a mix. You do have to try it, see if there's lemon in it. You don't just try it because you want to try it. I'm going to have to do the icing on the cakes. I can afford this because more time to work out. We're going to see how much lemon's in it. Well, you can taste the butter, so more lemon is going in it. I've got lemon juice I can put in it as well. sure the cakes are cool before you do this so I'm gonna stop the recording now the icing you can't do until the cake ready or it's set I'll catch up with you when this cake is cooked and cooled and my laptop's clean we are back need to be in the fridge for about 30 minutes and it's still quite hot this one's quite warm, but I don't have time. I don't have any more wait time because I'm doing a YouTube live for o'clock, and I've already pre what do you call it? Pre-set it. Whatever you want to call it. So it's going to start for o'clock. I only have uh, what do you call it? One. Actually, it's dirty from before, so might just use like a. I would say palette knife, but I think it might still be too hot. But it's been in the fridge for half an hour. Maybe I should have froze it instead. But... It's gonna go like that. Or is it going to go like... I 
Let me see if I've got a palette knife. I should have a palette knife. Let's see what I've found one. What? Found my little dinky thing. Might still be too hard. I need to give this. I'm gonna put a tad more icing in it because it's a bit runny. I need thicken up a bit. This is basically like our glue to um, stick these cakes together if you want to pro se. The more the better I say, we might as well use it up. So I'm now going to put this on. Let me just... Theoretically it should have gone on the side but we can just... out the sides. Maybe we should put them on the sides. We might have to get a new plate. Now I've got to make the icing. Oh we could just put this on the top. Cream cheese frosting is what you normally put on. I'm tempted to say, let's put this on top of the icing. Mainly because we won't have to make any icing. So it is sort of stable. We're gonna like, we might actually just, I might decorate the edges too, just because they're basically covered anyway. Don't know if I've got enough for the top actually. So maybe we do need to make icing. Let's look on that side of the lot. wasting this and making icing we're just gonna put a thin layer of this on the top and we'll get a new plate but I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to lift it what we are gonna need is something that I have put in the wash but don't think it's actually in the water so I, um, yeah, we're going to make icing, but I'm not going to waste this buttercream, so. It's not my cheese, che cream cheese frosting on a carrot cake, but. We're going to put it onto the new plate and then put. The decoration bit on top.
going to thoroughly dry my hands because with this virus thing, they do you say you have to properly wash your hands. So what we are going to do to finish it off, we're going to get a new lemon and we're just going to grate I actually think it looks better without the icing. Don't know why the buttercream and icing would have gone together. And there is the carrot cake. I should have probably done. Nah, I think it's fine how it is. Still keep the lemon because you can use the juice for more well, smell. And there is the carrot cake. I do hope you've enjoyed. We are going to try it, but once I've cleaned up, clean. Once I've had it tidy up, and I'll catch you in a couple of minutes. Now, so I did just put some stuff in the dishwasher, but I didn't put the butter away, so that's what I'm going to do now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a knife and get a slice out, and we're going to get a plate. And we're going to take a slice out. Where's my big, where's my bread and meat? So this is like a big wholesome like, but I think we might just take I might just take the end bit off. You need that, oh it's not really, I would say probably more buttercream in the middle. I think it was too runny. I think the problem is it was too runny and it spilled out the sides and it didn't go in the middle because not actually much in the middle there. It's technically, oh, I think I put it on back, back on the wrong place. I'm gonna have to take it. The cake was in for more than it said. So I checked it at 20 minutes, it was still, I took the knife out, it was this knife in fact. It was like really out wet. And I was like, it needs to go back in, it needs to go back in. So it went back in. And I'm probably in for like 35 minutes in total rather than 20. So, and it was still quite moist, it's still quite wet. I might have been in way longer, let's just take it out. I might have to do with it still slight hot. I'm not sure, but. That is some carrot cake. Can't really taste the lemon. You can get a carrot cake, you don't necessarily get lemon. It is a very nice cake. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. There could be another video tomorrow on my extra time off now and I will see you super soon with another video. Thank you.